Hello, my name is Kirk. I'm with Grizzly Industrial. I'm part of the Engineering QC team. And we're going to talk about uh, the G0774 automatic edge bander as well as the G0854. And so what I would like to do today is just kind of walk you through the process. We'll start with the 774 of what each station is and does. This is the first station of the machine, known as the carousel. The carousel is where your edge banding tape is placed uh, in order to feed through the system. And so it just freely spins through here. As you can see, uh, these are adjustable uh, rollers and we generally put these on the inside of the edge banding tape. Here we have our control panel. On the far left of the control panel is your Fotec temperature controller, which regulates the temperature to your glue pot assembly. On the bottom are all your motor function switches. To the left is your uh, shutdown switch for the motor function switches. On the top are your sensor switches along with your in-feed temperature for your in-feed vents. You have your emergency shutdown switch and then your standby light. All right, next we're gonna talk about the panel feeder. The panel feeder is what runs the boards through the various stations of the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. The panel feeder is belt driven, has a belt on the top that's going to run the board across the roller table assembly here through the various stations. So this is the adjustment wheel for the panel feeder that raises and lowers it to the table. This is the dial indicator for the thickness of the board. This is in millimeters and not in inches and the digit furthest to the right is in tenths of millimeters. So this is not 100 and 89 millimeters, but 18.9 millimeters. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about what happens as the board goes through the machine. Here we have our table. The table has a series of rollers on it. They're all turned at about a 15 degree angle. As the board is coming through the machine, these rollers are gonna pull the board into the the side of the uh, in-feed fence as well as each of the stations down along the board. And remember, once again, our panel feeder is what's pulling the board, the belt panel feeder is what's pulling the board across the table and through the stations. This is our in-feed fence. This is a preheat in-feed fence, which preheats the edge of the board here. As the board comes across then, it will be preheated once it hits the uh, glue spindle assembly. So as it's coming across, there's a rubber wheel that's, it'll make contact with, as well as uh, uh, the first switch. The first switch basically just tells the machine, okay, the board is advancing through the machine. So when it hits that rubber wheel, it's actually going to feed our edge banding tape through the system here. And it's going through uh, a couple of rubber rollers in the back. So as I'm running the board here through, you should see that tape coming through in there. So our board is now making contact with the spindle, the hot glue spindle assembly. So it's, at this point, it's going to apply glue to the edge of the board. As the board comes forward, it makes contact with the tape. The tape is then applied to the edge of the board. This first roller that it hits, this is our mobile roller and this is our stationary roller right here. So this roller will actually flex back a little bit. So as it makes contact with the tape there, it's applied to the edge of the board. The board continues forward as it hits its first switch where you see this tape here coming forward. This is our end trimmer. So this will uh, it'll move up and it, it will basically come down and cut the edge banding tape. So that tape then will be cut flush with the edge of the front edge of the board. So then our board will continue forward here as it's coming forward, the next station will be the flush trimmers. Our board is coming into the flush trimmer assembly and it's going to virtually trim both the top edge and the bottom edge at the same time. So as the board is coming through, you can see this is known as our tracer. So the tracer is going to lift the assembly up so that it'll make a proper trim. So it's going to 
come on, continue through here. So the edge of our edge banding has been trimmed. And then it's, the next one is going to be the buffing wheels, which will then uh, refine and uh, buff the uh, edges of the edge banding tape. Is it will then continue to pass through there. And now we're going to look at the back of the machine. Next, we have the electrical junction box where we bring in our power at 220 volts single phase. Just above that, you have your air supply regulator, which we recommend you have six standard cubic feet of air at 100 PSI to keep the system maintained. And then just above that, you have your electrical shutoff switch. Now we're gonna look at the bottom of the cabinet, which is your electrical end of the cabinet. Starting to the very far left, you have your termination strip, your transformer, a set of fuse blocks, your PLC, which is your programmable ladder logic controller, which is the brain of the system. Your overloads for your motors, and then your contactors. You have five overloads and seven contactors. The last two contactors, KM6 and KM7, are both for the electrical and for the heating portion. So next we have the pneumatic uh, part of the cabinet, which is, sits in the center here. We have the electrically pneumatic air solenoids that run all of our end devices that are up here. To the right of that, you have your air regulators, and to the right of that, then you have your pressure switch. So next we're going to talk about the components on the upper end of the edge bander. Starting with the carousel here where your edge banding tape is placed. Next you have your infeed fence where your edge banding tape begins its journey. Behind that you have an adjustable handle here for your infeed fence where you can actually adjust it forward and back. And then you have your locking handle here for your panel feeder. So next we have the intrinsic safety switch which shuts all devices down when your door is in the open position. This handle is for your pressure roller here for your edge banding tape as it feeds through the system. So by pushing it over to the right, releases it and allows you to feed the tape freely through the system. This is your glue spindle knob, which adjusts your glue spindle horizontally in and out depending on how close you need to have your spindle set next to the board. The next item is your pneumatic air guillotine that severs your edge banding tape once your board is through the system. This handle is just for your lid assembly to your glue pot. This handle is for the last part of your edge banding feed system, just the height up and down. And then last but not least, this, is, this handle here adjusts the amount of flow, glue flow that you have to your spindle assembly up front. And then we have your pressure rollers for your edge banding tape here. And so this is the adjustable and this is the stationary rollers here. So next we have the motor here that drives our end trimmer. It's both electrically and pneumatically operated. So pneumatically moves it horizontally back and forth as well as vertically up and down. And then next we have our flush trimmers. As you can see, these are both dial indicators which are set to the thickness of the edge banding tape. Uh, they're both in millimeters and the digit furthest to the right is in tenths. So that's something very important to know and to remember. And last but not least, we have the dual motors here that run both of our buffing wheels. And let's talk briefly. Uh, this is the hand wheel that controls the height of the panel feeder right here. And there's a dial indicator that's on the other side, just like the dial indicators that we see here on our uh, flush trimmers. And that is set to the thickness of the board that is running through the system. I want to take a quick moment to say the manual included with your machine provides a wealth of information. So I suggest reading and understanding it before you operate the edge bander. The more you know about all the components that work together, the better you'll know what needs to be adjusted if something is not quite right. One other recommendation I'll make is to keep your machine clean. A clean machine is a happy machine. 
Adequate dust collection along with frequent vacuuming out of the internal components and stations will help the machine run smoothly.